sees you. He hears you. He has seen and heard your sins. Lord Jesus, your endless, shameless sins. Are you there, God? That's all Why don't you answer me? And he is me? coming back. Why don't you he give is me here. a sign? Yeah, even today, Tell me what he I'm may here walk here among us. I don't know. recognize. Let me know you care. Are you Remember ye the words of the Why Lord. Why don't you turn to me? Lord Jesus, let me you see through this. Oh, ye who are gathered here in the darkness, do you imagine that you are here to witness naught but an hour of flickering fictions? Do you imagine that your lives are not in jeopardy at this very moment? This is the empty house of your soul. Its foundations are built on your childhood, and climbing a lifetime, you may never reach its top floor. Can you smell the air within? Dry and musty with long neglect. If you would see the story that is about to unfold, be warned. It is nothing less than that which lies within these walls and within each and every one of you. Are you prepared to take up residence? If you are, then enter. But do not make the decision lightly, for you will not be alone walking these creaking floors. Remember the words of our Savior when he spake in Matthew 28, 20. And behold, I am with you all of the days until the completion of the age.
Where have all our lesbians gone? Alban! Father Alban! It's happened again, Father Alban. These women are as sheep in the midst of wolves, Father Eustace. I cannot bear to read another of these headlines. We can no longer stand idly by and allow these children of God to be slain by these... these... agents of the devil. We alone have been entrusted with the knowledge of a power, a man, who can stop this unholy plague. You know of whom I speak. You mean? Loose lips, Albert. Forgive me. Of course. But you understand your responsibilities. Since I first entered the order, I knew this day would come. Good. Arrangements have already been made. In fact... <laughs> be enough? Oh, there'll be plenty. I thirst for nothing but justice for the fallen sheep of our flock. Tell me what the problem is. You see, my lord, you are the only one who can stem the spread of this contagion. If these leeches prevail, the faithful need no longer fear going to hell. For hell will come to us. I'm here to build a kingdom, Alvin, my father's kingdom. I cannot rush to the battlements before the foundations are laid, or else the walls will surely collapse.
Revelation. Here I am at my destination. Get to stop this exsanguination. Got to halt this abomination. I'm out on the street now. I'm out on the town. So many people just hanging around. Hey, everyone, here is your chance to do right. Step out of the tunnel and into the light. We'd love to stand by you. No, really, we would. A chance to stand up right. And just on the line. Really can't help you. We're already beat. Society moves as you could be a cheat. My job isn't great. I got no job at all. Well, I can't find you love. And you're not. You say that you're wounded. To that I say fine. If you show me yours, then I'll show you mine. Father Eustace, I presume. The church maintains this apartment for visiting clergy members and parishioners in need. You can stay here as long as necessary. I've slept in worse places. I'm quite busy with my clerical duties, but it would be good to know where you are. Now, you must be hungry after your long trip. Speaking of which, where are Albane and Avellino? I'm afraid we have much to discuss, Eustace. My only consolation is in knowing that fathers Avellino and Albin are now in a better place. They were not the first to fall, my lord. Both these pictures were taken at a singles dance that the church held last year. This is John Golem. 
He worked for a local television station and produced public service announcements for the church's charity work. A good soul. He was the first member of my congregation to disappear. Miriam Schreider, a successful concert promoter, but she still took time out to volunteer at our soup kitchens and at the food bank. People came as much for her smile as for the food. She's been missing for nearly eight months now. This is a woman that attacked me at the beach. She killed Avelino and Albin. I feared as much. There have been rumors. I didn't want to believe at first, but every Sunday I see fewer and fewer faces in the pews. I fear my parish is being consumed, body and soul. There have been more disappearances? Many. As recently as last night. Young women mostly. The church has been unwilling to act on this matter because of the lifestyle of these women. The church should learn to leave judgment to higher powers. Do you suppose that the disappearance of these ladies of Sappho is somehow connected to the fact that these vampires can walk in the daylight? That is what you must find out, my lord. This case requires the attention of one from whom the truth cannot be hidden. Here. It's yours anyways. It's from the collection plate. The church can wait a couple of weeks for a new TV. I'll need to buy some wood for steaks. Hello, Jesus. You don't know us because we've never talked to you before. We are the atheists. Look, Jesus, we're taking your second coming ass down. Consider this the 13th station of the cross. Let's get on with the conversions. <laughs>
side rabbi see no thanks sorry I'm a little tense I've got just what you need <sighs> feeling a little bit more relaxed now rabbi I'm fine here, let me help. How would you find me? Well, every night before I go to bed, I get down on my knees and ask for direction. But I was here in other business. Vampires. The Archdiocese doesn't have a monopoly on faith, Rabbi. The branch of the church to which I belong has been operating discreetly for quite a while. The position of women in the church hasn't always been so horizontal. I remember. Our research indicates that authentic vampirism is actually what we've come to term a quantum infection, acting sometimes as the virus, other times as the bacterium, still other times as the fungal infestation, which may explain the pallor of the afflicted individual, depending on the observer. Even under strict lab conditions, it's impossible to batch test vampire tissue samples. The results are just too chaotic. We suspect that the vampire's vulnerability to light has something to do with the fact that light exists as both a particle and a wave, again, depending on the observer. You follow? I understand light. I came to the city to see this man. He's been doing fascinating work with grafting and church pathology. I think that if we find him, he might be able to hand us a big piece of the puzzle. Let's go then. Walking around in this thing? It's not exactly inconspicuous. You might as well be wearing a halo. I think we should get you some new clothes. Something a little more urban. But I have nothing to hide. Maybe not, but you sure have a lot to show.
Hey, can I try this on? In the back, my blue-eyed soul brother. Like I said, in the back. Thanks. Jesus, what do you think? They're salt and pepper shakers. I collect them. Oh, they're grand. Let me help. Up, up. Okay. Up, up. Up. Gorgeous. I need to see Johnny. Where's he at? What? Lay up. Give me a boost. There's a new player in town. I need to tell Johnny. Where's he at? I don't know. I think he's doing the TCB down at the hospital. I'll go check. If he comes back, tell him I was here. Come on, Mary. Hold up. A lousy nickel? That shirt's worth a Soski if it's worth a subway token. All right, I'll give you six. Six? That won't even buy me a pimp steak. Come on, put your weight on it. Seven? Seven? See, now you in the hood, but you way down the block. Eight fifty. Wear it like you mean it. How much? For you, free as OJ.
I'm not back in five minutes. Call the Pope. Mary and Stack! poured out, yes, yes, but they put new wine into new skins, and both are preserved together. Those were the words of the Apostle Matthew, chapter 9, verse 17, to be exact. Ha! He brought these healing truths to the people in the only way available. The pseudoscience of religion! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> A man of science like myself, the apostles of the new millennium, can make his words flesh! Photosensitivity is a symptom of vampirism, yes, but, but it can be controlled. The skin. Grafted onto your body will provide you the immunity you need to walk in the daylight. The procedure is simple, and the anti-rejection drugs will leave you in a pleasantly euphoric state. <laughs> it's important to nourish the new skin by ingesting massive amounts of human hemoglobin o over the next few days. But that shouldn't be a problem now, should it? Ah, oh, Doc. Did Slice open anyone interesting today? I know I did. You'll be wanting a new janitor, by the way. Really, Mr. Golgotha? I must protest. This is a sterile environment. Well, I didn't come to commit the sin of Onan, just to check in on our latest convert. How's she doing? Still partially catatonic. She's still suffering the effects of post-mortem stress disorder. Give me a call when you're done with her body work. Whoa, speaking of body work, hey Max, how'd you find me? Follow the screams, Johnny, just like always. Can you zip me up? Listen, we need to talk. How's about over lunch? I'm famished. You're a glutton. Wow. Who's that? She's a vampire. Oh, too bad. I saw her kill two priests with my own eyes. Mr. Golgotha, Miss Shrek, we're running low on skin. I suggest we harvest another lesbian. 30 minutes or it's free.
Hey, you want to play a game? Sure. Close your eyes. You're it! When you have lived in this empty house long enough, a question will arise within you. This same question that a certain lawyer asked of our Lord in Luke 1030. Who is my neighbor? p.m.
You're a stranger to me, but no stranger that I am. It's strange what you see when you look through stranger's eyes. You've got that look in your eyes, like you grew up on your own. Different, apart, and feeling alone. I know how it feels when there's something inside. Something too queer to show, but too real to hide. Good night, sweet prince. Jesus. Is that you, Bowl of Cherries? Do bowls of cherries talk? Jesus? I don't know. I've seen a lot of strange things over the years. You need help, Jesus. And I have not forsaken you. Oh, it's you, Dad. So, what's your advice? Seek out the saint of the wrestling ring, son. He will stand alongside you. And call your mom. She misses you. Santo es venido. Just one photo. Any truth to the rumors that you're coming out of retirement? Any words for your fan? What do you think about the state of professional wrestling today, El Santo? Any comments on the allegations that you've had of falling out with the Aztec mummy, El Santo? No comment. I have no comment. Please direct your questions to Ms. Oddbox. Could you step aside so you get a photo of El Santo? Make sure you get my good side. Or you'll get on my bad side. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Now there's my front page. I've been a fan of your flying planchet takedown for years, Santo. It's an honor to finally meet you. Mm. The pleasure is all mine. I apologize for the reporter. They are harder to escape than the blue demons, Cobra Clutch. Santos, over here, 
Watcher, I've got a car waiting. Madre de Dios, my old manager. Don't let this gringo con you, Jesus. He'll have you wrestling midgets in border towns for 10% of the net. Danny, amigo! Santos, you gotta see this new act I'm managing. Stop by tonight and we'll talk a little business. Gracias, Daddy. I know why you're here, my savior. I've chosen to call myself a saint, and as such, I am your servant. To you, my lord, my face is forever naked. Now tell me, you have found a place to begin our investigation, see? Hey man, watch it. You get an all in the Kool-Aid, and you don't even know the flavor. I know you know Johnny Golgotha. Tell me where he is. Hey, I'm as close as 99 is to 100 to Johnny and his crew. But I don't know you from Adam, madam. You can save lives. You have to tell us where he is, for the sake of your soul, if nothing else. Yeah, tell that to a one-legged man so we can bump it off down the road, Jack. Ah! Okay, okay, I call him the jazz. You the boss dick. Say I cop. Then I'd be cleaner than the board of health, right? If you're truly repentant. Okay then, man, okay. Lay up. I know you want that great boy bad, but hustlers don't call showdowns, dig? Johnny and his main mellow are out of town today. There ain't nothing shaking till tomorrow morning, down at the point. Don't tempt me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dominion Tavern. There's a lot of beautiful faces in the house tonight, but the man you're here to see can't see you. So make some noise for Mr. Bly, Jimmy Leffa! Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Oh, 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 oh,
The sin of lust. Don't worry, Santos. He forgives all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I've sort of been told we got a very special function uh, uh, in the United States tonight. Uh, without which. There'd be no soul for the, for the brothers. So, if you want to like put your hands together, raise your hands for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. many years of experience in the ring to strike when the opportunity arises. What I'm trying to say is, you have pinned my heart to the mat, and I think I love you.
Where is everybody? They split, baby. I was just wanting to check up on you. Are you keeping busy then, dear? Yeah, Mom. I'm trying to help some lesbians. Oh, God love them. They get so much done in a day, don't you think? Yeah, listen, I really have to go. These vampires oh, are... Oh, now you're not letting those boys push you around, are you? They might seem bigger than you now, but who do we always say is going to inherit the earth, dear? The meek, Mom. That's right, love. Now don't let me keep you. You go on now. Okay, Mom. Talk to you later. I love you. Hey! on the ropes. Well, if you want to see him go down for the count, I suggest you deliver yourself to us. If you would heal your woes and prolong your life, look not here at this pharmacy of human vanity, but here recall ye the words of the Messiah as they are spoken in Luke 4, 23. Physician, heal thyself! Revelation, my lord. from the dead, so did they. You promised eternal life, so did they. But they offer so much more power. I really wish we'd had the time to invite more people, Jesus. It's not every day a guy gets a chance to commit deicide. Sacrifice is your thing, isn't it? I think you need to go back to Sunday school. My death was never the end of the story. Well, let's get this over with. Any last words, Jesus? No. I've got a question, though. Why lesbians? They're deviants. No one will miss them. There's nothing deviant about love. Ha! Good one. The truth is as bitter as garlic to them.
Jesus, you'll need this to kill that jackrabbit albino son of a bitch.
separates you from my love. My lord, no! cannot heal this woman, my lord, but perhaps yours can. Will you try? Her soul is in jeopardy, Santos, just as millennia balance on the sliver of time between the ticks of a clock. So does her soul now stand balanced on a precipice between the unending light of heaven and the undying fires of hell. I can work this miracle, Santos, through you and through your love for Maggie. Are you ready to live up to your name? Remove her mask! Santo he venido. joy that I never thought possible here on Earth. I was wondering, would you, could you? Yeah, sure, okay. Aren't you a lesbian? No, 
I'm by. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! Right! Woohoo! But the end of all things is drawn nigh. Be sober, therefore, and watchful unto prayers. But before all things, having fervent love amongst yourselves, because love covers a multitude of sins. Beloved, take not as strange the fire of persecution which has taken place amongst you, as if something strange was happening to you. But as ye have share in the sufferings of Christ, rejoice! Then in the revelation of his glory, also ye may rejoice with exaltation! Back when I was hanging out with the apostles, we had a saying, if you can bear the whole yoke of the Lord, you'll be perfect. But if you can't, then do what you can. I don't want you to accept anything just because I say it. Think about it. Make up your own mind. And if you choose Christianity, don't follow me. Follow my teachings. It's the message that's important, not the messenger. Eh? Eh? Hey, JP. I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, okay, I will later. Listen, you don't need me to tell you these things. I'm not here to give you new laws. I'm just telling you what you already know. I'm the part of you that feels bad when you don't give that homeless guy your spare change. You know what's right. Trust yourselves. Learn to love. Learn to forgive. And remember, five keeps a neighborhood alive. It's all good. It's all right. Everybody gets